Hello, Forecaster here again, and this time I thought I would show you uh, how to set up routes using Railcraft uh, routing. So I have a pretty simple setup here, and it starts here. We have a main track here, which just loops around. Then we have five separate stations. We have the white station, which is, as you can see, a destination for all of these locomotives. Then we have the yellow, blue, uh, green, and red. Now, as you can see, there are a bunch of routing detectors and routing tracks. So, we have a yellow locomotive here and this is its home station and its destination is set to white slash yellow now we have five routing switch motors here and if we take a look at this one we see that its destination equals white so the way routing uh, works in Railcraft is it looks for the string, but it doesn't have to match the whole string. So uh, this destination string starts with white, and that's all it needs to match this uh, destination here. So it starts with white, then there's some stuff after it which doesn't matter to this switch. So the yellow locomotive, if we set this uh, going, set the speed to 2, let's bump it up here as well, and we'll loop around, then it will go into uh, the white station. Now let's stop it before it reaches right here. So here we have a routing detector, and if we take a look at its routing table, we see looking for white slash yellow, which matches this exactly. So we'll only uh, activate when this specific locomotive passes by. And then we have this routing track, which has a ticket in it, that says destination yellow slash white. So it's essentially this one, but with the this the uh, station names, which happen to be colors, uh, switched around. So we'll switch these, so it starts with yellow, um, then it will leave um, the white station onto the main line, then this uh, switch motor is looking for destination strings that start with yellow, because this is the uh, yellow station. And since this now will have its destination strings uh, swapped around, it now starts with yellow, so it will be routed into the yellow station. And once here, we have the exact same setup, but reversed. So it switches the destinations around again, so we'll now head back into this station, the white one. And if we set these two going, these two will do the same, but for their respective colors. So, the blue one will be changed by this one while the green one will not, and the green one will be changed here and have its... or not. This... Oh no, it did. I just didn't see it. And then the blue one went back to its home station. The green one will be routed into the green station and once there 
it will have its destination swapped around again and head back to white. So we have three separate locomotives, which could be trains, each going to the same destination and then heading back to a specific station. And they will not interfere with each other and you won't have the green locomotive accidentally going to the yellow station or the yellow locomotive accidentally going to the uh, blue station. Um, now we have the red locomotive here which as you can see has three destinations in total. So first it will go to the white station and if we go here you will see that we have a detector for it here and this is looking for white, blue, red and then the destination will be set to blue, red, white so uh, it will first go to the white station then it will go to the blue station and once at the blue station we have this extra detector here and it will then head to the red station and once here it will be set to head back to the white station so this shows this is its next, next destination the second destination and the third destination and once here we will have this string again so it will head back to white so if we set this going we can speed it up a little bit we pop over here we will see it's them being moved so red jump down to position 2, blue jump down to position 1, and white was bumped over to the last position. So now it matches this switch and will go into the blue station. And here it will everything will move one step to the left. Blue will be at the end. So now it will head back to the red station and be routed in here and once here it will be set back to go to white so we have three locomotives that go between two separate uh, destinations one being common for all of them then we have one locomotive which is um, going to three different destinations now one thing I had to tweak while I was testing this was I had uh, the yellow one here and the red one here. Now the red one was after the blue one and when the lo red locomotive first arrived here it matched the blue one as well, this routing table which caused it to be set to the um, the destination that was intended for only the blue locomotive. So I had to move the red uh, detector to be before the blue one because the uh, beginning of the string matched the blue even though it had um, an extra bit at the end. We'll see when it uh, returns for another loop what I mean. So the blue detector is looking for white slash blue which you can see on the blue locomotive here and on the red locomotive here plus it has slash red at the end 
which doesn't matter it will still match the blues uh, white slash blue of uh, this now if you had the uh, destinations in a different order so um, say if we would have it go uh, into blue uh, after red so it would be uh, it would start at red then go to blue and then white then uh, the string would not match the blue one and we would not have this problem so you have to be careful with your uh, strings to make sure they do not match multiple uh, detectors or you might have have them set to the wrong destination and that's pretty much it it's a simple system can be quite powerful and I will see you in the next video